you cannot convince me otherwise that all the people that have the viral videos on Instagram and TikTok about who live in their vans, they don't actually live in those freaking vans. No, I get it. I may be a little bit of a slob. I got herpes, I got hemorrhoids, I got happiness in my heart, but this is my home and I live in my home. Can we stop there for a minute? You got herpes, hemorrhoids, and happiness in your heart. Yo, those three H's don't really go together. We're not just going to skip over the herpes part, though, are we? Are we? Like, and you just, like, forthcoming with it? Let me <laughs> say this. I did do a little bit of research on this person before I watched this video and on her profile on Instagram, which I'll link in the description in order to give credit for this video. She does say that she's a herpes advocate. I didn't know really what that meant. But now I'm getting a little bit insight into it. And so let's keep that in mind as we continue to have this conversation. That's crazy. And I'm going to show you guys the truth. You know what I'm saying? Buddy in the Southern California area that wants an inverter, it might not work. I don't know. Hit me up. This is my laundry room and dog treat area. Skirt tied to go. Check this out. I mean, it looks like a hot mess already, right? We got post offices that need to go to the... We got packages that need to go to the post office. Got sand everywhere. Part of the whole reason about me choosing van life officially was to deconnect from social media and the technology world and become more human. Guys, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad the camera was on for that. This thing is constantly wet. I'm gonna have to get rid of it cause mold, you know, my closet space. And my soaps and good stuff in here. We got sand, we got firewood, we got packages. We got dogs. We got girls. Is it me or can you kind of smell something coming through the screen? Seriously. Like, I, I'm just not built for it, right? Honestly, I think that van life is overly celebrated on uh, YouTube and social media and Instagram and TikTok and stuff. But I'm not going for it. It's no scenario at all. As a matter of fact, one of the orders that I've made is a Ford Transit, but obviously not for van life. Um, and I've even shared that with you guys as I was at the dealership. Uh, one of the orders that I have is for a Ford Transit. Now, one of the things that I'm thinking about doing with it is making it like a mobile studio or taking it on tour next year in order to be able to go city to city and make it easier for me to be able to get around. But then even in that situation, I was just thinking to myself, like, I don't really want to travel in a van because that's too much like van life because it's almost like one step away from being homeless. And what do you want me to do? Sleep in it? Like, I, I can't do it, right? Anything over a two hour drive, I want to be on a plane. Anything overnight, I prefer to be in a hotel. I will settle for Airbnb in certain cities, but in a general sense, I prefer to be in a bed, comfortable. And I don't want to come out and somebody stole my house. You know what I'm saying? So when I see women specifically, and I've been seeing it with a lot of guys, but you know guys is guys, so guys are rough it and they'll figure it out. And when they want to, they'll go back to, uh, I'm guessing, living in a regular place if they have the means to do so. But when I see these women and I see them with children and van life, that junk is wild to me. It's, it's, it's like, where do you take a shower? Like, that's why I'm saying, like, it's... It seems like that something is coming through the screen. That's crazy, bro. You live in a van and it's gone viral on social media and it looks perfect. I don't believe you actually live in I don't it. either. Nope. So why the F and F and F? Seagull, Jester's chasing it. Did it take me so long to tattoo my face and move into a van down by the river? Ocean, why? This life was meant for me. If you're thinking about doing it, yo. I'm not. We're not even going to have this conversation. It's nothing for us to discuss. I'm not thinking about doing it. It's not something that I want to be a part of. And I think that uh, you have to be a special type of person. Now, you got to remember, I am a person that is an advocate for, and I think that the two most important things in this society uh, that we have to solve for, that is basically the foundation of what's wrong with what's going on here in America. Obviously, we got government overspending and oversight and stuff like that in the political process, but We'll get there. Uh, the two main problems that's even a um, trampoline into some of those problems that I just named is homelessness, right? The lack of availability of 
somebody to be able to live in a space that is protecting them from the elements because then you have to have children and all of that other type of stuff and single parent households, children with no father. Did Apple just do that? Children with no father in a household, right? Because all of that then feeds into a lot of what we're dealing with, the residual effects, right? Our leadership, the feminization of men, feminism, um, the alphabet community taking over our schools and all of this other type of stuff. All of that stuff feeds into what it is that we have to deal with on a regular basis. Now, um, for a year straight, I volunteered every single weekend, Saturday and Sunday, um, to help. And I worked at soup kitchens and I worked with homeless people and homelessness became my project, right? It became like a, a passion project for me. And what I found is that most people that are homeless or became homeless was one step away from losing everything, meaning that they was living paycheck to paycheck or they were regular people with a job and then they wind up going homeless and they was trying to get back on their feet. And so they figured that, hey, OK, well, listen, I'm going to be in this situation or we got kids and we need to feed them. So we're going to go over here or I had a medical bill and it happened. And if I just live or I stay, you know what I'm saying, homeless for like a week or a month or two, and then it just kind of snowballs, right? And so most of the people that are homeless are not the people that you see walking around on the street, but they are people that were one paycheck away from losing everything. One disaster, one life event from losing everything, right? And so when I see van life, it takes me back to that space where people are just trying to adjust for being homeless. In my opinion... From what I've worked with, what I've seen, and what I'm observing on the internet, van life is becoming more and more popular on the internet because more and more people are be going are going homeless, and they want to have some level of dignity or reserve uh, some of their dignity as a result of going and being homeless, and so they make an excuse and say, "Well, you know, I'm trying to save money, or this is the life I want to live, or I want to be able to travel, and all of that stuff." And I'm just not going for it. I'm not going for it. Don't let these content creators and these YouTubers and these Instagram people and these TikTokers convince you that you should not be striving to live in a home with heat, electricity, and shelter from the elements, flat out. And I think that her video is both alarming and on top of it, especially with the herpes part, and on top of it, it's a reality check that it's some people that are choosing to live that life. And you got to be like a Woodstock type of person like her in order to do so. And it's other people that's doing it as an alternative. And it's not voluntary. And then you also got the tent life where you see these tent cities and people living in the woods. And they think that they, they could just, it, listen, I'm not for it. I'm not going for it. And there are so many different problems in the United States of America. But to see homelessness and the way people become it and hear the stories behind it is eye opening. I'm Van life ain't it. Flat out. I don't care what they're selling you. I don't care what this narrative is. She telling you. It's saying all in her van. Now, she a little junkie and all of that. She a little wild. But, and to be living out there, dog, herpes, nah. But all of that, that, that lifestyle is not cool. And I think that women are starting to get a real reality check. And no matter how much they try to convince you that they're not suffering, they suffering. Real talk. I love you. I appreciate you. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Uh, the best day to get into the Patreon is the beginning of the month. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I'm about to catch a flight, head over to D.C. for the Patreon meetup. Also got the Invest in Your Business where I'm giving people that's a part of the bag chasers that pitch and have a good idea. Uh, one or two thousand dollars a piece up to about twenty to twenty four thousand uh, dollars this month. November, month of November going into uh, 2024. Uh, the seed money to be able to start their businesses with no money uh, or no equity from me into that business. So it's just me saying thank you. I appreciate everybody that continue to hold me down. And hopefully you can utilize this money to trampling you into uh, your business while leveraging the lessons that I've been giving you all year uh, to help you get there. All right. So listen, I love you. I appreciate you. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, also, teach Hanley. 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Thank you, Teach Hanley, for continuing to sponsor and rock out with us. We love you, Teach. Thank you. Um, make sure you follow me on all of my social media also. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. It's only in the description. I don't have no alternative uh, accounts, no backup accounts. So anybody that's saying that they me, that's not me. Only the ones that's in the description. Follow me on all the platforms. I love you. I appreciate you. Looking forward to reading y'all comments. Peace.